Hello and welcome back to Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura. When we last left off, uh, yeah, let's um, let's get out of here. Ready to return to Caledon, Miss? Uh, yeah. Ah, yeah, in this version they just send you back, but I guess in vanilla version, um, you would have had to pay to return. Anyway, let's go and talk to Tyron for what we've discovered. Huh. And we got a um, fate point, probably for discovering that book. Okay, Tyrion. Wait. Who are you? I'm glad you're here. You were working with Tyron, were you not? Who are you? Where's Tyron? I don't know. I was meant to meet him here. You were to exchange information. Really? And what information would that be? Information that's dangerous to possess. I've been on the same search as Tyron and his co colleagues. I believe it's gone much deeper. What have you discovered? I should be asking you that. You have recently acquired something damning to certain parties, have you not? No, what makes you think I have? Ah, I see you're wary. That's smart, as the trail we are following is a dangerous one. Very well. I will share with you the information I've gathered, and you can decide for yourself whether you can believe me or not. I'm not certain how much of it I believe myself, but this is what I found out. I'm listening. About 50, 55 years ago, a group of gnomes from various parts of Arcanum began to acquire large amounts of money from investments in the new technology. As their wealth and perceived influence began to grow, age-old prejudices began to surface. Gnomes were thought to be miserly thieves, the other races did not trust them to gain power. Go on. There were thefts, beatings, and threats. Mysterious letters at night warning little gnomes to keep to their place. The gnomes tried human bodyguards to no avail. Any human would, that would be a bodyguard to a gnome at that time was, by definition, an untrustworthy, shiftless sort. And the first they tr er, at first they tried unsuccessfully to breathe elves and or orcs into some beastial magic hybrids to do their bidding. The Siamese twins. Exactly. But you know all about uh, what happened with them, do you now? It was a foolhardy idea to begin with. At any rate, orcs have a natural dislike for gnomes, and the gnomes needed something much more docile. Uh-huh. Next obvious choice seemed to be the half-ogres. Tired of being hunted for, uh, and the promise of large amounts of food gained, from, uh, or gained the gnomes extremely loyal bodyguards. But there was a problem. A half-ogre was a very rare thing in those days, there was good scientific reason for being so, and the gnomes were without bodyguards, uh, were used as leverage against those protected. Continue. The greatest concentration of these gnomes were in Tarant, which was still a monarchy at the time. They pleaded with the king for his help, but the last thing the king wanted was a group of rich banker gnomes with power in his kingdom. The beatings continued, and the king and his court turned a blind eye to their plight. That's when, well, we'll call him Mr. X, decided to act. Mr. X. Yes, he hired a prostitute to go home with him one evening, and he locked her in his basement, where he also been happened to keeping a full-blooded ogre. You can imagine what happened then. She died giving birth, as to be expected, but Mr. X now had his future bodyguard. He recruited some other gnomes, and the kidnappings began in earnest. What happened then? 
for safety's sake, they set up a breeding laboratory on the island you visited. The plan wasn't working out as well as I hoped, as the women all died giving birth, and the more prostitutes that disappeared, the more the authorities were looking into their affairs. They decided to try surgical means of delivery, but the women were too sickly to survive that. Go on. That's when the king's hirelings discovered, discovered what was happening. Unfortunately for the king, though, the gnomes had become incredibly rich in this time. Rich enough, in fact, to purchase the king's murder and the kidnapping of the queen and her young son. Rumors began circulating immediately, pointing to the queen as the killer of her husband. The queen was brought to the island, wasn't she? Yes. She was the patient in the first successful operation. She mo mothered three before she passed, I believe. Soon after the in uh, Industrial Council gained power in Quran, the disappearance of prostitutes began to slow down. But a mysterious rash of disappearance for the wives and daughters of the political enemies of the council began. That is horrible. They not only lasted for a short time, however, but they now bred enough half-ogre females to no longer need to rely on human breeders. Kept hundreds of them now, kept in cages in a breeding farm somewhere. Keep this whole thing in a cloud of mystery by releasing half-truths, lies, and even real information through unstable individuals like Tyron. So no one believes any of it. Exactly! Everyone who believes to be, er, it to be the imaginations of madmen and paranoids. Is this all true? That's a good question. We must not be too anxious to believe uh, it because we want it to be true, or too anxious to disbelieve it because we want it to be false. We must remain neutral in our decision as to whether it is true or not. That's absurd. It's either true or it isn't. Hmm. Then none of it's true. Well, maybe some of it. I'll bring proof to the press. I'll expose this whole thing. What do you have? Nothing. You have a journal which was left for you to find on purpose. What could have been written last week? What have you seen? Why well, I believe you saw an abandoned warehouse. Nothing more. Save for what your twisted imagination made it out to be. Why are you doing this? You always needed more converts to spread the word. You might have had real information, but now you don't know anything. What if I told you is real? Feel free to tell anyone everything what I've told you. I'm sure the press would love to hear your story, perhaps. Good day to you, madame. It's been a pleasure. Good day. Although I'm very tempted to just take you out. Ugh. That's it. There's a newspaper branch here, isn't there? Yep. Trontian Editorial Office. Mmm, yes, how are you? And who might you be, sir? I'm Sam Longwell, and this is the Caledon Branch of Trontian. I have evidence of a conspiracy you might be interested in. What do you mean, conspiracy? Is this some kind of jest? The Industrial Council has been illegally breeding half-ogres. I'd say I was interested in the story, but I would need proof. It's all right here. By the gods, this is astounding. I can make my reputation with a story like this. You leave this with me, I'll print it in its entirety. Be a story of the century. Um, okay, here it is. I cannot believe this. This is what I've been waiting for. I'll write this up to get into tomorrow's newspaper. I'll be going now. Tomorrow's paper, eh? Maybe I should advance time one day and see what's going on. How's the story shaping up? I'm still working on it. Should be in the papers by tomorrow, as I said. Good day. Hmm. Zizz, zizz. Not a frightful day, I fear. Okay, yeah, I guess he doesn't uh, write that until we leave town. 
Makes sense. But aside from the main quest and the um, Ancient Gods quest, this is definitely one of the uh, longer, more elaborate uh, quest lines in the game. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's head to Ashbury. Why Ashbury? Well, it's close to the um, wasteland. Oh yeah. You know, we got those. And we've got free booking. We might as well um, do that. Um, if we asked for money from uh, Sam Longwell, he'd just give us a hundred gold, which... Um, I, I don't care at that point. It's a darn shame that, um, the fact that even though I've got my own ship, I can't send it to, like, the Isle of Despair or Half Ogre Island. Let's see, the person that wanted these was the phrenologist over in Toronto Tur uh, University. So it would be nice to go in there and uh, pick up some more weapons and armor for my more magically inclined folk, but eh. Which actually is most of my party. <laughs> No, it's just the lecture hall. That's the Zoological Society. There it is. I was say, I know that's the library. Fame Demon Killer returns. Uh, nope. Are you... Yeah, you're Gershwin. Good to see you, Benjamin. May I speak with you a moment? Of course. Found the skulls, but I need to speak to you, with you about them. What about? Please give me the skulls. I need to have them. My reputation could be made by studying them. Don't understand. It's dangerous to have the skulls. I don't care. I'll pay you double my original offer. 200 coins. Well, in that case, here you are. Splendid. Here's your payment. I'm gonna co 
recommend my research right away. Thank you so much for your help. Well, I must go. That is another quest done. Uh, werewolf curse. Yep. I don't think I'm going to end up ever doing that. Just like I'm never going to do that. So... Werewolf Curse and Nazdarin. And like I said, probably go to Ashbury. Um, and then from there to the Vendegroth Waste. Come on, Alyssa. But all that gave me a bit more experience, at least. I'm not even sure if I want to um, increase uh, repair more, which, I mean, it's not a bad thing to increase repairability. Um, or increase my dexterity and my dodging, which uh, would be nice to have more things like action points and, uh, you know, ability to not get hit. Love lights, the dog. <laughs> I just left the town um, thing, and before I even hit the map, um, this random encounter appeared. Gateway to the Wastes. Ma'am, what is it? Pray tell, who are you? I'm Welder Rubin, renowned halfling adventurer in your service, madame. What are you doing out here, Weldo? Why adventuring, of course. What better place to than explore the dreaded waste of the Vendegroth? Um, found anything of interest in your travels? Why, yes, I found a very interesting device in the foray near here. Found this in some old ruins, but in the waste. Really? Yes, the ruins were made of a metal of the sort that I've never encountered before. There all manner of junk around and inside them. And I found this device while rummaging through it. I see. It's nasty lizards live underneath. Probably they swarmed out at the noise that had to retreat away. Sounds bad. You have to expect danger in my line of work. Perhaps you'll answer me a few more questions. What do you wish to know? Tell me more about your adventures. How do I speak about my adventures? What can I share with you? Seen any cities in the waste? Well, it's pretty empty out there, and I haven't been exploring all that long. But I found this one city way out in the waste, surrounded by shifting sands. No way to lead, lead into or out of the place. Please continue. No obvious entrance. Uh, so I climbed the surrounding wall. From that vantage point, I could see the whole place. Anyone live there? Yeah, there was lots of people inside. Lots of different races. 
Everyone's wearing robes and acting very polite and all. Did you go inside? Nah, I clammed ba back down and left. Bigger folk have their own ways, and I wouldn't be disturbing them. Could you please show me where this is on my map? I'll mark it on a map if you bring me a part of the device I showed you. I think it needs a metal sprocket that fell off in, near the wreckage. Would you do this for me? Um, I'll do it. Where can I find these ruins? Great! Here's the location of the ruins. Return uh, with the part that you found. Farewell. Mysterious ruins of the waste. But that'll be for next time. When we come back, Vendergroth. Have a good one, folks.